There he is. Come here, boy. Right, let's have a look at you. Interact and fish fill it. There you go. Have your fill. Oh, he's such a good boy. Where's your uh, Where's your backpack going? Did we uh, Did we lose that? How's it going, Gion? Just leaning up against the wall, looking all mysterious. Oh yeah, just a constant reminder. The infection spreads. Welcome back to the apocalypse, guys. Welcome back to Mist Survival. So, the place is looking pretty much how we left it. Or at least the garage is. Let's go and have a look over here. Because, I don't know if you guys have heard. Oh, blueberries. I don't know if you guys have heard. But there's been an update. And it brought with it something very, very cool. And that is... The dog now has new animations, behavioral animations. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Obviously, though, that is a cool change, but it actually brought with it a survivor camp. And I have to take a look at it. I don't know how long this is going to be. I just wanted to hop in and actually take a look at it, but I thought I'll bring you guys along for the ride because I know it's been a minute. And it's not really a massive update that changes too much. So maybe this is just like a little one off where we just catch up with things and just see what's been added. So yeah, there's also new stuff that's being worked on like you guys will remember me saying that there's something called the siren which is apparently like a mini boss i believe that's still being worked on and another dog and i wasn't going to spoil this but it's pretty much everywhere now and it's uh, it's a different type of dog it's a little rottweiler so we got the german shepherd looking being all sneaky and we've uh, we've got the chance of having a rottweiler i believe which is another dog that i absolutely love if there is a chance of adding like a French bulldog, which is what my dog is, or a bulldog, an English bulldog or something like that, I'll lose my mind. <laughs> I'm not holding my breath though, because I don't think they'll survive very well in an apocalypse. <laughs> They're not really a, an attack dog or any kind of guard dog or anything like that. They're totally dependent on their humans. <laughs> like, it's kind of pathetic, but I love him all the same. But like I said, guys, welcome back to Mist. I think what I'm going to do is I'm not really going to waste any time because I don't think much has changed in here yet. This is... This is exactly how we left it. The fish still alive? Oh yeah, yeah, they're still swimming. So the uh, the little makeshift pond is still good. Got the little uh, medical bay over there as well. Yeah, we were surviving quite well over here. All right, so yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is just gear up and we're gonna head out. I've got a pretty good idea of where it is. You guys uh, will know the uh, location, it's quite familiar. It's on the road that we, uh, we took to get to the mines, but you kind of veer off to the left. And uh, we'll see what's going on. So, ready, Leo? Let's do this. Oh, the old girl's still running, Leo. All right, let's go. Let's be uh, let's be really, really gentle with this, though, because this uh, this terrain hasn't been kind to us in the past. Hold on a second. Let's get some music going on. Oh yeah, there we go. Right now we're moving. So I think. Can go that way, but that's kind of going through the checkpoint. Let's go this way now. In the uh, in the update notes, obviously there's been a lot of optimization changes trying to help everything, just keep it all nice and smooth. I will say though, the area where I am, it's still having some like random frame drops. It might just be the sheer amount of stuff that I have back there. But yeah, I guess there's uh, there's been a lot of optimization changes trying to work out any issues the uh, the performance might have had. Just keeping an eye out for anything else that might change as well. In fact, you know what? Let's just go around the town real quick. Let's see what's what's going on around here. I haven't picked this place clean for a long, long time. So, ooh. That looks like a new rim. You see that? That wheel over there? Just keeping my eye open for anything. That looks different. No tools over there. The general store. Probably bad news. A load of those things inside. Oh, yeah. There they are. Pretty much how we left it. Okay. Let's go back around this way. Let's keep our head down over. Especially that bit up there. I was going to say the farm back there, but it's not where the trouble is. It's up here. You can hear them all in there breathing. Breathing that green stuff in.
does it. Oh, there's a lot of them there. Yep. They replenished their numbers since the last time we paid them a visit. All right, so what we're looking for then is like a, a little split in the road. Should be down here. I remember there's like, there's terrain that goes almost vertical. It's this one here. There we go. Oh, look at that. All right, let's go and have a look over there. I think it is that way though. Maybe you can get to it this way. Wait, was this here before? I don't think it was. No, yeah, no, I definitely would have... I definitely would have... Oh, yeah, no, this definitely wasn't here before. I would have remembered that. Just as a, yeah, a quick heads up as well. Me with vehicles and bridges, <laughs> they don't mix. They really, really don't. Let's have a look around. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God! Oh, you scared the shit! Oh, Oh my god! Good boy, Leo. You okay? Did he bite you or anything? Oh my god! Oh, you scared the hell! Oh. I just came out for a nice relaxing drive to take a look at the survivor camp because the people that are alive have apparently set up a, a little safe haven. And you came out of nowhere. Oh my god! Come on. Oh, that's a little bit weird. It's okay, though. I'm going to see if I can sell you, then. It's the least we can do. Let's just put that away for a second. Open trunk. There we go. That's a little bit more legit. I mean, <laughs> don't look, guys. Goodbye, Leo. Come on. Let's go. All right. After that mild heart attack. Okay, so this goes round... Yeah, no, this goes round to the right towards the city, then. So, it's... Oh, there it is! Oh, that looks so good. Okay, right. So... Word is, the survivors have basically set this up for anybody to use, as long as you come in peace, I guess. So, I'm going to make sure my uh, <laughs> my weapons are holstered. And I, I guess I'm going to introduce myself, or just make me uh, look like a familiar face around this point. So I'm going to be using this quite a lot. There we go. Oh, look at that with the spotlights. Oh, that's so cool. It would be amazing if on the uh, on the tarps there, if they was like, had some kind of wording on it. I don't know. On the other ones, we've seen it before, but if it had something like maybe keep out or holster weapons or friendlies inside or something like that, it would be amazing to see these on at nighttime as well. It's got a little PA system as well. <gasps> that looks great. Right, what are we going to do? Oh, there we go. Okay. That's quite terrifying, the fact that it opened up on its own. Ooh. Is there a spot where you can pull up? Whoa, there's actually people. Like, just... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Right, wait. I didn't expect that. Oh, yeah, there's actually... Yeah, there's people, like... Actual vendors. I'm just going to leave the vehicle here then. Right, let's turn this off. Let's get out and have a look around. Now, I have read that this is... Oh, you opened the gate for me as well. Wow, you look like... Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure about, like, have you found dye in the apocalypse or something like that? Because that hair does not look natural. A bright yellow color. But I believe this is like a, uh, a first pass at the survivor camp. Oh, let's have a look. Are you going to get really upset? I really want to see the sentries, though. Please don't get mad. Oh, please don't get mad and kill me while I'm here. Oh, we're friends. Oh, you look amazing. Look at him standing guard. Keep an eye out for any of the bandits trying to move in. Such a cool area. Look at this. I can... Don't get mad. Don't get mad. You can just imagine a sniper just patrolling these parts, keeping an eye on the bridge down there. Probably saw me get attacked by that wolf. All the way over to this side. They've probably got line of sight to the other camp. Don't quite see it. I think it's like... Isn't it like here somewhere? I feel like it's here. Yeah, somewhere around there. Maybe it's more further around the other side or something like that. But either way, this is so, so sick. A radio. Should we take that radio? Mess with them a little bit, you know? Nothing worse than that when you got a radio in your ear and then someone clicks it or makes a, uh, that really loud screeching sound and you go deaf for about three hours. Some little farms as well. Tomatoes growing. All kinds of stuff. Look at that. Where's that up top? 
There's the chest of drawers with something on the top of it. God, that's so apocalyptic. Like, just the, ran the random stuff that's scattered around here. I love that. Got the wood fenced off. Just things scattered around the wall. Somebody live in here? I'm also tempted to go through all of their stuff, but <laughs> I don't want to take anybody's property. Oh, look at that as well. That is something that you would find, like people collecting these. We're good. Nobody saw it. I'm going to take some... Oh, solar panels. Yeah, that's a good choice. You definitely want to have that. And this would be a good area for like a little stash too. I mean, a lot of people can see that and probably would use the solar panels. So maybe not. Maybe it's not a good idea. Can we get through that tarp? Yeah, we can. There's another sentry posted around the back here too. Look at that little radio. The, uh, the radio model that I've seen while going around looks way older. That's uh, that's something new. Got another little area that you can just get a vantage point from. Oh, the actual places say the names. We'll get to that as well in a second, guys. We'll get down there and we'll take a look at it. Just going to say hello to the uh, to the other sentry. He's got a guitar on the side of it over there. Everybody's mail spots. That'd be a good spot to uh, to give the sentries their food. Can we grab this? No. Okay. I'm going to push my luck. Yeah, the guitar. Can we play it? Nope. Yeah, these guys look actually really, really good. I love that, by the way. I love the tactical, like, straps and stuff. It's such a good look for an apocalypse. Maybe having one of them sat down. What are you reading? Man and His Woman. Novel by Richard J. Boomer. <laughs> no idea. What we got down there? All right, I'm going to stick to the uh, perimeter for now. And then we'll work our way towards the center. I'm, I'm fascinated with this. I love this type of stuff. What's that? No, wait, can we actually go out of this? No, that's actually not a uh, way out. This type of stuff, though, the fact that they've thought of this, or I should say he's thought of this. I, as far as I'm aware, it's still single developer. The fact that this is a thing where it's not just like one uniform wall all the way around, because I'm not really a big fan of that. That's one thing. If you've been around the channel for a while and you've seen my forest playthrough, it was one thing that really bothered me about that. I love the fact that you would have to go out and find whatever you could and fashion that into a defenses, like this stuff. Just mash it all together. Like, look, we got barbed wire, planks of wood, street signs, and they're using that as just like a, a makeshift thing to keep people out. We got these like steel things here that would have probably held something at one point, maybe like a billboard upside down and they stack logs in it. It's so cool. The makeshift reinforcements, like holding everything in place. I love that. I really, really do. And this might not be everybody's thing, but it really is mine. Like, I really appreciate that type of stuff. Whoa. Okay, Leo. Okay, <laughs> calm down. I've already had one jump scare today. I know that at some point, he's looking to uh, to change the uh, the engine. We spoke about that not too long ago, about, like, the game looks great as it is. Now, you can feel like it's dated a little bit, but... I know there is a plan to change the engine. I'm sure that's going to be coming soon. Time to die. <laughs> you don't want to be reading stuff like that when you're in Apocalypse. You want to look for, like, inspiration. That's stuff like that. Unless it is, like, it's just a, uh, like, a wordplay thing. And it's meant for the people you run into. Time to die. You got the crappers. That's where they have their water up there. Got to keep that nice and clean. Oh, they got a bath going as well. So I wonder how this would work then. I wonder if there's like a token system in place, you know? If you're uh, five tokens in to the camp and then you get to use the bath. Bathing privileges. <laughs> I don't know. These tarps look weird to me as well. I don't know why. They, they, I can't quite put my finger on it, but I feel like I've seen these before. Oh, look at this. Oh, he's going to say something. Oh, poor guy. I feel like he's seen some stuff. That is a really cool tattoo, though. I'd love to be able to uh, to put tattoos on our character. Oh, we can actually go through that stuff? I know I said I wasn't going to do this, but... I'm a bit of a nosy bitch, so... I'm going to go through it. What's this one? can't read that. I guess that is one of the major things that you would be doing to pass the time. This is more along the lines of what I was thinking. Oh, wait, is it? No, that seems new as well. I can't, 
like really remember what the uh, I know it's not really a big deal but the radios that I was used to can I take them oh I can take them <laughs> but they uh, it seemed a lot more old-fashioned so maybe there are some like new uh, assets in here now Leo you stay over there with those guys okay just been watching him for a couple of minutes see if he does anything no nope. he's just sticking to his job checking his weapon and keeping an eye out here you're actually really exposed there though you might want to think about getting some like cover down or something you seem like you're very vulnerable. What's this guy doing? It's where all the gardens would be. Keep everybody fed. All the grow stuff. He looks like a Chris to me. How's it going, Chris? Just look at that, though. All this stuff tucked away. More gardens here. Crops. Hey! How's it going? So, materials... All that stuff, so I can trade that for anything like this. Can I trade? Is it on a one-to-one? -one? <laughs> I think I can take that, but I'm not going to do it. Yeah, so you can just get stuff for your crops there. Okay, right, let's have a look towards the uh, the center then. So what we got here, this is the, the food area. All the different types of fish. Oh, wow. You are a big dude. Clearly then you're going to be called the butcher or something, right? What we got? Chicken, mice, rabbit. Anything you guys can find. So, ooh. All right, so we got all like the, the, the different recipes. Water bottle, the beef, the canned stuff. And I can trade any of that as well. Can I have a look around your area, though? You got a little piggy down there, too? <laughs> I don't think that fridge. <laughs> yeah, dude, there's definitely and nothing is hygienic about that fridge. <laughs> and I'll give you that advice for free. The next one, though, is going to cost you, okay? Your pig. What else we got? Newspaper. Drum of oil. I would love to see more. Maybe that's what this is for, like the uh, the Rottweiler. Not entirely sure if it's been added yet, but... Oh, this place is going to look so good as well at night time. We are ticking the hours away by me yet. <laughs> Just wandering around. Toothbrushes. Very important in an apocalypse. Leo, what are you doing there with that leg? Leo. Unbelievable. Growing anything there? Yeah, these just look like mainly hangout areas. Ooh, are we about to get a mist? Ooh, you might want to close that. Hey, you might want to close that. Oh, okay. Let's see how you guys deal with this then. I guess I'll stick around and see what happens. The first sign of trouble though. I'm getting in that thing and I'm waiting this thing out. These people are not my problem right now. I have no allegiance to them. We're here to trade, and that is it. I would really love to get in there, though. Are you guys hiding in that? Bed rolls. This is what I was talking about. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff that we've seen before. And I wonder if they've been trying anybody on that. Contacting people on all AM frequencies. Like Robert Neville. I don't really see anything else in here that I've not really seen before. These areas are cool, or like these little triage spots. What are you? material so you can just get random bits that you might need if you were uh, if you don't want to go around gather them yourself guessing like scrap boxes and stuff yeah there we go all different cat oh that's useful okay so i bet that's going to cost a pretty penny then so whiskey bottle and okay so it's not it's still it's not too bad you're not gonna you're not gonna get stuck if you need that stuff as long as you've like taken the time to go around and get some like food or some supplies that you can trade with. You're not you're not really gonna come unstuck. Is that everything? So we got materials, we got food over there. What else was it? Oh, we got crops. Ooh. Oh, let me switch to this. You guys not gonna help? No, I don't think you're gonna help. It's alright, Leo, I got it. Oh my god. Right, well, at least I've got more stuff to trade with now. All right, well, maybe we should. Let's see how we're doing. Oh, we're low. <gasps> we are low. Get in. Let's just stay here for a minute, Leo. These people do not care about us. Let's turn this on, get nice and warm. There we go. So we've got supplies over there. Okay, that, so that is another one. So materials was around that way and supplies are that way. We're good, we're good. What are you doing up there? 
What? This is going to last a minute. I can't believe none of them are, are actually doing anything. I mean, I suppose these guys might be new, you know? They could just be an ambitious group. Looking to, uh, to try and survive and set something up. They might not have seen a day of combat in their life. Let's see what we got over here, though. I, I really don't want to get out because I'm not doing so great. So, oh, you've got all of the juicy bits. <gasps> I've just noticed this as well. He's a new character. The butcher guy that we had over there, I think pretty much everyone we've seen so far is somebody new. Oh no, don't get stuck here. No, they're not getting they're not getting a pickup truck for free. I mean I wouldn't mind it if they helped, but they didn't. They didn't even lift a finger when those things came in. But yeah, everybody's pretty much new. Oh, what are you? Alright, let's let's just let's go around this way. I'm gonna go around to the other entrance, see if that opens up as well. Why not? Let's get all their doors open. They're not going to help. <laughs> Let's give them a headache. Should be going around that way, right? I just don't want there to be a massive drop. Yeah, we should be good. And the uh, the sentry that's posted up there. There, there we go. So the road should be there. There we go. And are you going to open? Or has it got to be that way? Oh! Now you open! Unbelievable. Take that, though. We're actually getting pretty cold as well. So, this thing will de- Oh, look at that. Water's flowing pretty quick. This thing will definitely do a job in keeping them out. As long as they close the gates, which they don't seem to like doing. You in, Leo? Yeah, you are. Let's go back through this way. Okay, so I think for the most part then, I'm going to try and get rid of these guys for them. Just the top of the dome. Look at that, the more coming in. The sights aren't dialed in right. Come on, a little bit to the right. There it is. And a little bit higher. That's so weird. <laughs> it's so incredibly off. Maybe one of these guys can uh, dial my sights in for me. Go figure. The moment that I want to get some bow practice in, it's all gone eerily silent. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to bring you guys along for the ride because I was going to come and take a look anyway. And I got to be honest, I am not disappointed. This place looks fantastic. as like a first pass to get that apocalyptic feel of a, uh, a survivor camp. Absolutely nailed it in my opinion. Obviously, there's things that can be improved on, which I'm sure will come with time. The one thing that I don't quite know if I like, and I'd like to get your input on this, is the actual names of the things because i mean they're self-explanatory you walk up to it you see the food and stuff like that maybe the other ones over here like the material one and possibly the supply one which we're actually going to go to let's see if we get anything new i don't know how i feel about oh look at that sneaking in stay dead let's grab that back but yeah, I don't know how I feel about the uh, the text being over it. I think I like it without, but I guess that's just like personal preference or something. Let's just have a quick look. Oh, we got the chance to. Chainsaw teeth. Gunpowder grenades. Oh, all oh, the suppressors. Oh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, there's a, there's a lot that you can get from these guys. If you really need it. Just gotta have the items to trade, I guess. What would be really cool is if they required something for trade, rather than being able to trade everything, right? Maybe that's something further down the line when the new engine comes into play. I don't know. There's big plans for this, and you can tell that. The slow progression of the game is an example of how things are going to go. It's definitely very, very, very slow progression because, like I said before, I believe it's still one developer. So you can understand why things are going so slow, but I love this. I really, really do, and it looks amazing. Let me know what you think about this place down in the comments. I'd be excited to hear what you guys say, and I'll see you all in the next one.